my name is Desmond Dyer, Desmond Allen Dyer. I was born in Highbridge, and all my family lived in Highbridge. My grandfather, Mr. Frederick Dyer, he was on the council. He was vice chairman for years on the council. Can you remember the level crossing at Highbridge? Well, our shop was just a side of there, and there was a lane running down the side. Like I said, we had the shop and the house behind, and our garden used to run down along the railway. And next door to us was the station master's house. My aunt used to sit me on the wall there for, oh, I used to sit there for hours and watch these trains go in burn with excursions and, and that like, you know. I started on the railways in 45, but my main job was on the GWR, which I started on the track, but when I finished, I was in charge from this side of Bristol down to Ford Gate, the side of Taunton. I was the supervisor for for the whole region down this way. The mileage at the top of the pier was 4454. That's from Ever Creeks Junction. That's the mileage from Ever the mileages were from Ever Creeks Junction to Burnham on Sea. And the rest was in chains, which is 80 chains to the mile. Like Highbridge 14520 was 145 and a quarter from London, from Highbridge Station into Paddington. From 7.15 in the morning to about 4.30 in the afternoon, and Saturday mornings as well. I used to do a lot of nights as well. Sometimes I, I used to go off, sometimes Saturday evenings, perhaps 9 o'clock. I didn't get home perhaps till Monday dinner time. <laughs> if we were running behind on a job, we were relaying, and something went wrong, and we was all behind, you know. We had to stay there to get it right for the trains to travel. That's how we used to put in quite a lot of hours sometimes, 20, 30 hours sometimes, one shift. We used to have a drop of cider. <laughs> well, we used to get it off the farms. We know most of the farmers like up and down the tracks, you know. We had a great big uh, six gallon jar. We used to take over in the wheelbarrow over in the farm full of that. And we had a chap. He was a, I never used to drink cider, but they used to. This chap used to, he used to lie on the grass and put the jar between his legs. <laughs> push his legs up and then at night I used to have to push him home in the wheelbarrow <laughs> and I used to tip him up in his porch and ring the bell and then run. <laughs>